So I'm working on replacing my head gasket on my car and one of the steps I need to do is remove the fuel filter. So I'm having difficulties. These 88 to 91 Civics, let me get in here. These 88 to 91 Civics have this special bolt on here on the line that runs from the fuel filter to the fuel injector rails. And so I'm having a hell of a time getting this thing off of here. So I'm going to show you maybe a couple of things you can do to try to get that bolt out of here when changing your fuel fuel filter or fuel filter, whatever works. So before doing anything else to the fuel system, what you're going to want to do is relieve the pressure in the fuel system because otherwise when you go to take off those bolts, it's going to spray fuel everywhere. So let's go and do that now. So one way you can do is just come to the cabin. We're going to go to the fuel tank here. And what you can do is just pop the gas cap here and that will relieve pressure in the fuel tank which will relieve some of the pressure in the system and prevent it from spraying on you when you take out those bolts. What you can also do is take off that 12 millimeter service bolt on the top here and that will relieve some of the pressure as well but taking off this bolt doesn't take off the hose that's connected to the fuel filter so we need to get this larger bolt out of here but with how things are laid out it's a real pain to get to this one this one's no problem it's just got a standard bolt on it that we can get to this one's the one that's causing the issues so first of all, what you can do to make things a little bit easier is just take the charcoal canister here and get it out of the way. So all you need to do is just kind of lift up on it and then it'll just pull out and just kind of tuck that off to the side just out of the way there. So that's going to give us a little bit more room that we can work on this thing. Next what you're going to do is take a 17 millimeter bolt and just remove that one there. So I've got my socket lined up, ready to go. I'm just going to come on the top there. And now the challenge with this is we need to prevent the fuel filter itself from trying to rotate as we're breaking this free. Sometimes you can get lucky and grab onto the metal part of the hose and use that as bracing to keep it from rotating. But where did I put it? Did you see where I put it? But, as it turns out, I just had a pair of channel locks break on me, so I can kind of tuck that in here. So I can use this as bracing to keep it from rotating while I'm trying to loosen this. Alright, so I'm just going to grab onto this, take this one off here. I don't know if it just rotated, if it's coming loose. Oh yeah, there we go. So these seize on with time and become difficult to remove. So we got this one here. When replacing your fuel filter, usually the fuel filter will come with new gaskets. So you want to replace those when replacing the fuel filter. Otherwise you'll get a slow leak of fuel, which is never a good thing. And now here's the tricky bit. It's getting that bolt right there. Alright, so I got my 17 millimeter wrench. And now that we removed that other bolt, I can get my wrench in here nice and tight. Okay, so I don't think the channel locks work. I'm just going to use a regular old screwdriver in here. Let's see if I can get it to. And the real pain is a socket doesn't fit over this bolt. So it really just leaves us with resorting to the open wrench, open end wrench. So we have to be real careful to not slip and bust any knuckles. It's also difficult to get the leverage that we need to get this stupid thing loose. And there you have it. 
So a lot of the forums online really weren't that helpful trying to get this silly thing out. Uh, a lot of people were just saying, hey, it's just a bolt, you should be able to do it. But that's the biggest thing is you need to clear this fitting out of here. Okay, so we have this last little bolt right here. Which doesn't look like the socket's gonna go on that. I'm gonna take these two bolts off here, up top. And take these guys off. Okay, so we got those bolts out. Now I should just be able to lift it right out. And here you can see that bolt we were having a hard time getting to. This is the one, oops. Careful, there's gonna be some fuel in here still. So, you wanna get a rag to catch that fuel, but here's that bolt that was keeping it from doing anything earlier. Just undo this bolt here. Of course, it doesn't wanna come easily. Then once you get that loose, you should be able to remove the fuel filter from the bracket. So once you finally get this loose, just remove the fuel filter, put the new one into the bracket, tighten the bolt, put it back, and then just put the bolts back. Biggest thing is these bolts, you've got the two washers. So you put one washer, like so. That goes through the fuel fitting. And then you put the other washer on the other side. And then you just get those washers in place, bolt it in, and you're good to go. As always, thanks for watching, and catch you next time. See you again.